Welcome to Cologne, where I'm gonna set up some things that I can't tell you about until it's out. We're just gonna be on Saturday. I'm not gonna edit this until Saturday, so maybe I can actually talk about it. I'm gonna set up a projection for a TV show. This is the, uh, I don't know how many uh, attempt to vlog about a industrial job. I hope they'll let me film inside. Let's see. Hmm, look what I ran into. Just across the street from the studios there is a uh, Kuduks. Well, now it's Christie. The new logo didn't change a lot. Software still runs on 32-bit. Here's a little reminder, wake up. I knew I should have taken that left turn in Albuquerque. Ah, sunlight. I got lost on the way here, but this is to Cody Warner and all those other no small creators out there. Exactly. Their brand is a unicorn. It's just they're not particularly small creators here. <laughs> wow. Okay. That is a freaking fucking first time I have a flat tire on a ballast. Why? Why is this happening to me? Need a pump? Well, here we are. Uh, waiting for a cable again. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> what, what is it? What is it then? It's a one million volt Tesla coil. So I stand on top and you'll see streams of electricity shooting from my fingertips and swallow a sword and the lightning shoots out of the top of the sword. Yeah, it's like a high pressure hose for electricity. So 240 volts goes in and a million volts sprays out. Out of you? Yes. <laughs> that seems to be... <laughs> Really dangerous. <laughs> oh, this looks pretty dangerous to me. <laughs> Perhaps I have to explain. Um, those those people here, they are preparing for a show. Right here we are. Uh, put on the old man's glasses. Projector is set up on a height that allows us to project on the curved surface of the ball. And now we're trying to map and project whatever is going to be our content. The challenge here is to do a spherical mapping, uh, meaning you, you v-map your content onto a sphere, then you take a camera, point it to it with the exact data that you need from the physical surroundings, so where your projector is and all that. I'm explaining this in, in that video, I think on the basis of After Effects, but it doesn't really matter. You can do this in any program like Blender or anything. And these squares that we're projecting here, around that sphere, they, they, they would usually get larger here because of the bending of the projection. But they don't because we spherical map the whole thing. So we have our sphere and the camera where the projector will be here. And if we turn on the UV, you can see the UV mapping that we did. Now, of course, in real life, there will be a fall off on the sides and that can be taken care of by adding a light that has a negative intensity. In this case, I used minus 800. Uh, you can play around with the shape of it and uh, the softness. This is something that really depends on your experience. So um, play around with it gain some experience and next time you'll do it yourself and uh, you print a slide that has this spherical mapping on it uh, and that's mostly it well i guess that's it. it it sounds a little easier than it is um but you'll get to it if you ever need this just give me a call i'd be glad to help Right, so we just changed the lens and now everything seems fine. Three projectors on one giant, I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, once more. <laughs> They didn't want me to tell you what this was, and uh, I'm not allowed to tell you what I did. I hope you learned something. <laughs> and if you want to see me once, once, only just for once, tell you what I do and where I do it, 
then uh, subscribe to this channel and I might be able to tell you someday. Damn it. <laughs>